a place near the river, a triptych for the Missouri Bicentennial. One, first there was the river, the quiet bluffs silently watching it spill down from the mountains, kindly watering the plains on its journey to the Gulf. Then came those who honored the land, the Osage and the Missouri nations, the ones who cherished the soil, found kinship with the animals, paid homage to the earth and sky, had reverence for every kingdom, every phylum, every class, every order, every family, every genus, every species because they knew all life speaks the same language. But not everyone sees the world that way. The blinding hunger to have, to own, to control, prevents one from seeing our common needs, our shared desires, our inherent divine connection. This ravenous appetite divides, leads to the necessity for words like genocide, when we all should be gathering by the river.
two. It was Langston who taught us the Negro speaks of rivers because rivers are the givers of life, the progenitors of civilization. Where they meander, we humbly follow, like York, like Sacagawea, traveling west with Lewis and Clark, helping them explore the land that would become a country that would never love them back. So much pain in the mighty mo. So much blood in the big muddy. This river that stopped the scent of escaped slaves so the hounds would lose their trail. But standing on its banks, you can smell history. The sweat of settlers who forged this great, splendidly complicated state. This state with a heart so big, it has become known as the heart land this state that gave us Twain and Truman and T.S. Eliot, this state that gave this country a swell of trails leading a brand new way. Think Oregon, then California, the Pony Express, and the Santa Fe. It was the crossroads of the 1800s for those who were traveling west. And after two centuries of growth, we continue to progress. We form the land, we build cities, we chase our dreams, we watch our children grow, we keep on keeping on like the river flows.
three. The river has a rhythm, just like my people do. Because there's a way that you move your body when the world gives you the blues, like the kind you hear in St. Louis with first the banjo, then the guitar, played bold and brash. Or across the state to Kansas City, where you will hear the finest jazz. It's our shared pain that forges a voice. Like when you hear Chuck Berry sing, it's the push against oppression that gave Bird his wings. Our state supported the peculiar institution with the Missouri Compromise and killed the hopes of Dred Scott when his cries for freedom were denied. So when you have no liberty, and rather than human, you are considered just a thing, much like Mother Maya's caged bird, you open your throat to sing. Our state motto says, let the welfare of the people be the supreme law. So I believe this state can live up to this decree despite all its flaws. Any state that can produce the Negro Leagues, the world's best barbecue, and the greatest jazz, and has lasted 200 years, can't be all that bad. We struggle, but we persevere, like the river smooths the stone. So we celebrate the show me state, this place that we call home. 